Full field of 10 lined up for the sixth race, the $250,000 Lady Liberty final for free for all pacing mares. Start of the pick four. Great field here featuring the defending horse of the year, Bunny Lake, right now at four to five. Here they come. Heather off, off stride. Yes, it's true. Yes, it's true. On a break, and Bunny Lake is going to gun out there. Bunny Lake and Eternal Cam Nation is going to move up and step out there right behind her around the first turn. Card Trick Hanover got away third. And Brennan urges on Pleasure Chest from fourth around the first turn. Determination plus off to a good start. Fifth to the opening quarter. Art Affection is racing sixth. Molly Can Do It is seventh. Then it's Cinder Best eighth. Followed by Cathedra.com far back after the break at the start. Yes, it's true. 26 and 4 for the opening quarter. Bunny Lake leads it by two lengths down the back stretch. Eternal Cam Nation second by two. It's Car Trick Hanover third. Pleasure Chest in the fourth spot. Single father and strung out. Gap at two lengths. Determination plus is fifth. Gap at two now. And Molly can do it. Starts up sixth with Cinder Best to follow her. Then comes Art Affection on the rail and Cathedral.com. And yes, it's true. And Bunny Lake with her speed controls it here. 54 and two fifths. 27-3, second quarter for Bunny Lake, who continues on the engine around the far turn. Perfect trip for Eternal Cam Nation, the defending champion here with uh, Car Trick Hanover still third on the cones now. And Pierce tries it with determination, plus first over from fourth, gap at two lengths. Molly can do it, inching up fifth on the outside. Pleasure Chest is giving way. Caught behind her is Art Affection. Three wide comes Cinder Best from the back of the pack. Cathedral.com. Bunny Lake took them by three quarters in one twenty one and three fifths and they turn for home it's bunny lake trying to do it all the way but eternal cam nation angles from the pocket and takes a dead shot at her here and it's bunny lake trying to dig in now she's all out up the cones car trick hanover is trying to pull off a shocker and she is surging raging on the rail a great finish here car trick hanover and jim Morrill jr car trick hanover at 41 to 1 and 149 and 1 a stakes record and a shocker here in the lady liberty Number five, Car Trick Hanover, once again, equals the world record mark set by Galleria in 1999, 149 and one for a four-year-old pacing mare. World record time here, a four-year-old bay mare by Cam's Card Shark out of Countess Spur by No Nukes, owned by the Mardon Stables. s and McIsaac and E. Fuster, Ontario and Prince Edward Island. Spotted racing in a maiden race at in Montreal by trainer Bruce McDonald. I believe as a two-year-old, she won a division of the Cape and Cutter here earlier this season. And Card Trick Hanover vaults over the $400,000 mark with a stellar performance, in fact, goes over the half-million-dollar mark with that victory there. Her fourth win of the season could be the first time driven by Jim Morrill Jr. who skims the rail for this shocking upset of in 41 at 41 to 1 tonight 149 and 1 fifth. Congratulations to the uh, winning connections world record performance here by Car Trick Hanover Canadian based mayor by Cam's Card Shark paying eighty four dollars twenty three sixty and six dollars number one eternal Cam Nation 480, 260, and the 7 Bunny Lake pays 240. 5, 1 exacta, $358.40. Trifecta 5, 1 and 7, $917.80. Post time is set now for the 7th race in 15 minutes at 9.36. In just a few moments, we'll have winner's circle reaction. 
with Bob Hollywood Hayden and the winning connections. In the seventh race, there are no changes. Exacta, trifecta, pick three, seven, eight, and nine. We're at a winner circle here with winning driver Jim Morrow Jr. Jimmy, first things first. Have you driven car trick Hanover before? No, it's the first time I ever heard of her, actually. Okay, coming into the race here, well, scoring her down, how'd you feel? She felt fine. Um, She's nice, quiet. Uh, said she might get a little grabby behind the gate, but uh, she was good that way, and uh, it worked out. I got to fall right in the three hole from the get, following the, what looked like to be the two best horses. Helped it, uh, that uh, Kevin McDermott's man around behind the gate, and I, got a, I just got a good trip out of it. Fractions 121 and 2. Where were you at three quarter pole and the two top two favorites slugging it out? I was just sitting right there third, just watching, and uh, I, I seen John's mare was starting to run out a little bit, so I figured I'd take my shot up the inside, and it worked out. Looking at the program this morning, Carter Hanover, you think you had a chance to be right here in the winner's circle with her? Uh, well, you never know, but uh, not really. Well, I was looking for money, but uh, I'm unhappy the way it worked out. And the other two mares raced great also. Yeah, anytime, uh, you know, they did, anytime you can get by those two mares, uh, Quite an accomplishment. Okay, Jim Marl Jr., congratulations. The winning driver, Car Trick Hanover, has won the Lady Liberty Final for 250000